Hey guys, Josh here, and in 2023 we got a ton of great farming games, and 2024 is looking to be just as exciting. So in this video, I'll be going over some of the farming games I'm looking forward to the most that should be releasing next year. But before we start, I'd like to talk to you about a game that helped me get this video done, and that's not only because the team of three developers behind it are sponsoring and supporting the channel, but the game has really been helping with my productivity. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is a game in which you create an avatar, you choose a spot in your virtual room for them to work in, you can then change the mood by selecting the time of day, maybe add some rain or turn on the fireplace, whatever makes you feel cozy, and then you can relax to a selection of lo-fi music. My favorite feature is that even though the game does have a few playlists of music already included, you can also play anything from YouTube if you already have some music that you like. So as I am writing this video, I'm listening to a 10 hours of lo-fi video game music, and it's so chill, I have it on my second monitor and it helps me concentrate. The game also has a to-do list and a timer that you can configure, so it's a really good all-in-one tool. And while the full version that will let you decorate your room and a few more things is planned for 2024, there is a free demo available on Steam right now, so just check it out with the link in the description. If you're like me and you work from home or maybe you're a student, trust me, just try it and then let me know in the comments if it's been helpful. Now let's get into the proper list and the first game I'll be talking about I think is on top of everybody's mind, so let's get it out of the way first, and that's Fantasy Life I The Girl Who Steals Time. I know this one is not strictly a farming sim, but it has many similar mechanics, and one of the changes about this new entry in the series is that it will be adding two new lives, Farmer and Artist. If you've not played the original Fantasy Life, it is a life simulation game where you switch between different lives or jobs, so some of them are combat related, like Paladin or Magician, but you also have gathering lives such as Miner and Woodcutter, or crafting lives like Cook and Alchemist. These lives made the original game so fun as you could change the gameplay depending on your mood, and this new game will make things even better, as not only will you get to change lives from anywhere at any time, but the graphics have been revamped, we can expect more quality of life features, and we'll now be able to decorate the whole island and terraform, similarly to how it works in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This game will be coming out for the Nintendo Switch in summer 2024, it was originally planned for 2023, so I know the wait is hard, but I think most of us still have plenty of games to play before then. If Fantasy Life is too cutesy and colorful for you, then you may be interested in Mirthwood. This one is a medieval fantasy sandbox game, you can tell it's a lot darker, and it takes inspiration from games like Fable, in which your actions have consequences. I had the chance to play the demo for this at PAX West, and if I had to pick my two favorite features, the first one would be when creating your character, you get to select your background and your traits, which will influence your stats, kind of like in an Elder Scrolls game. And my second favorite thing is the social aspect, which reminded me a bit of The Sims, because you actually get to pick between a variety of interactions like gossip, insult, influence, romance, and it's a nice change from just a basic chat interaction that you would get in most life sim games. The only thing I didn't like was that the combat felt a bit clunky, keep in mind I only played for 15 minutes and it was a pretty early build, so hopefully things will get better, but this is a really unique game and it's coming to Steam in 2024. If you like the medieval fantasy setting, not only will you like Mirthwood, but I think you'll also like Tales of the Shire. There's no footage for this game yet, just a short teaser so I won't talk about it for too long, but this is an upcoming game set in the Lord of the Rings universe, where you'll get to live a cozy hobbit life. This has so much potential, I can't wait to see what kind of art style they're gonna go for, they could do so much with this franchise and this world, and I think this could also bring cozy and farming games to reach a new audience. I really really hope that they won't mess this up, but we'll find that out sometime in 2024 for console and PC, and we don't know what console yet. Another big franchise getting a life sim spin-off is League of Legends with Bendeltail. I honestly don't know too much about League of Legends, it's really not my kind of game, but I want to play this one no matter what. You will play as a Yordle, which according to the League of Legends wiki, is a race of spirits who generally take the appearance of mammalian bipeds. They mostly reside in a mystical place known as Bendel City, 
though some of them have ventured out to live in numerous locations around Rune Terra. This game is being developed by the studio who made Graveyard Keeper, and the gameplay will revolve around gathering resources, crafting, and other activities you would expect, such as fishing, and I'm really curious to see how it's going to turn out when it releases in 2024 for the Nintendo Switch. But if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, Lightyear Frontier might be a better option for you, as this one is coming to Xbox One, Series X and S, and PC. I've not seen a lot of people talk about this game, but that's the reason why I'm making these kinds of videos, and I really hope you can discover something new. This one is an open world farming adventure on an alien planet, it is in first person, you're inside this customizable mech tractor, and you can play with up to three of your friends. You will have guns and tools that you'll use to plant, water, and harvest your crops, and you'll also get to build your farm anywhere in the open world, but you will have to be mindful of the wildlife as they will try to eat your crops, especially if you fail to manage the balance between the different ecosystems of the planet. This looks to be very relaxing, the only thing is that they seem to be focusing on the multiplayer a lot, so I wonder how it will feel to play by yourself, but we should find that out sometime in 2024. Another little known game I've not heard much people talking about is Little Known Galaxy. This game is being developed by a team of two people, Carbon and K, and it's a cozy space adventure RPG with exploration, crafting and farming, where you will get to play as a captain accompanied by a crew of 20 people that you'll get to form relationships with, including 10 romanceable ones. You will upgrade and decorate your ship, there will be space to grow crops in there and have machines to transform your resources, and also raise cute alien creatures. The game will also let you explore various planets, and this part reminds me of Moonstone Island, where each island has its own biome and resources, and also in comparison to most space team farming sims currently available, I like how Little Known Galaxy is very colorful. There's no release date for Little Known Galaxy quite yet, but it should be out sometime in 2024 for Steam. The next game is one I've had the chance to play a bit this year, it's called Two Pixelia, and I describe it as a mix between The Sims, maybe the old GBA Sims games if you've played them, and games like Stick RPG if you're familiar with that as well. It's a top-down pixel art game, you just move to a town called Pixelia, you settle in a small apartment, and have to manage your needs such as hunger, hygiene, and sleep, and of course you gotta go to work. But you actually get to do the work, so you can either work at a restaurant, or pursue bigger aspirations like becoming a musician, a politician, an athlete, and each career will come with its own unique minigames and challenges. The town is pretty large, with different neighborhoods and shops, you can buy or rent different apartments, there's also a village where you can farm and live a more quiet life if you want, this game is just a whole lot of freedom. It also has so much charm and I really enjoyed what I played of the special access I had a few months ago. I would say the only issue I had was some of the minigames were a bit clunky or difficult, I also had some problems trying to place furniture in my apartment, but I think these things can certainly be improved, and we'll see more of this game very soon, as the alpha for Kickstarter backers will start on December 25th, then there should be a beta in February 2024, and a full release later in the year. From what I could find, it seems like for now the game is only planned for Steam. If you're not a fan of pixel art, then you may want to add Out and About to your wishlist instead. I'm not sure if this game is actually called Wholesome Out and About or just Out and About, as it seems to have different names in different places, maybe they just recently removed the Wholesome part, I'm not too sure, but it's a game where you're out and about, and you're foraging and identifying the flora using real-world techniques. You will make herbal remedies and even real recipes that you can recreate at home, and I think how this game really leans into making sure it's using real and accurate information and teaching them to the players through the game is really interesting and who knows, it may get some people into foraging and wanting to go out and about. The game will also feature farming, of course, and everything will be done through permaculture in a sustainable way. There's no release date for this one, but it should come out for Xbox, Switch, and Steam, and there is actually a demo on Steam right now, and I've not tried it yet, but I'll make sure to do that before the end of the year and I'll let you know how it goes. Lastly, whenever I make these list videos, I always try to only put games that were not added to any of my previous lists. If you think I forgot a game, I have a whole playlist of these videos, so check that out, that game is probably there. But I also couldn't make a video about farming games coming out in 2024, 
without talking about my favorite series, Story of Seasons and Rune Factory. Four of these games were announced this year in 2023. One Story of Seasons that seems to be mainline and possibly reusing assets from Olive Town, or at least the animals are the same, and a second game that seems to be focused on multiplayer and connecting people together. For this one, we're only shown a few illustrations, and those illustrations were interesting because they show the protagonists from past Story of Seasons games, but we don't know if we'll get to meet these characters, maybe play as them or something else. Will this game be a live service game? We don't know. Then for the Rune Factory series, there's Rune Factory Project Dragon, which will be more of a spin-off taking place in the Eastern country that we've heard about in past Rune Factory games, but never seen. We'll get to ride a dragon, the combat system seems to have been completely revamped, and it just looks so beautiful and refreshing. Then we'll have Rune Factory 6, which should be more of a traditional Rune Factory game, with the mechanics that we're used to. Who knows, will it be in 2D or 3D? But it should be a familiar formula and have more of a Western aesthetic, which will be a nice contrast to the Eastern theme of Project Dragon. There have been no platforms or dates announced for any of these four games, I'm guessing that the ones we saw some footage for may come out in 2024 if we're lucky, and they will most likely have a Japanese release first, but as soon as there's more information, I'll be making sure to share it with you on this channel. So these are some of the farming games I'm looking forward to the most in 2024, but there will be a lot more as this was far from an exhaustive list. I'm also working on a video about games that will be releasing for the Nintendo Switch specifically, but are maybe already out on other platforms, as well as a video about games that were supposed to release in 2021, 2022, 2023, and that we're still waiting for. So subscribe if you don't want to miss those. I'm trying to get this channel to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so join the gaming garden if you want, leave a like if you enjoyed, and don't forget to check out Spirit City. I'll see you all in the next video.